So Ferdinand, um, one part of the discussion this morning related to protein and protein intake. Um, and uh, you talked a little bit about the ranges of protein children are getting, uh, especially those infants that are not exclusively breastfed. Do we know how much protein infants should get and how much they should get at each age? Well, for the first six months when infants should be exclusively breastfed, it's definitely clear that the protein content in breast milk is the determining factor. The protein content goes down during the period of lactation. So it starts up with 1.9 grams per 100 calories and goes down at 12, 9 to 12 months to 1.1. So this is the reference. So inference from who are formula fed should not get much more protein than those breastfed infants. So then aside from mimicking breast milk, what would be the disadvantages or the consequences of too high? When uh, children are getting protein formulas, uh, cow's milk protein derived formulas with high protein content, they start up to grow faster. They gain weight faster, the BMI is faster, it's associated with childhood adiposity, it's a higher risk with such a formula, and you can see metabolic parameters which clearly indicate that our metabolism is turned on by the excess protein, so it's good to avoid it. And do we have, uh, do we know more today about the mechanisms by which a higher level of protein in formula induces these changes? Well, uh, we know that uh, protein is uh, with a lot of amino acids. You have essential amino acids and you give much more essential amino acids to infants when you give more protein. And you also have the so-called branch chain amino acids which are switching on anabolic hormones which makes you growing, which make your protein synthesis be higher, the fat deposition be higher. So there's a lot of biomarkers indicating too much protein is not too good. Mm -hmm. And I guess the other, the other uh, difficulty in changing these levels has been that historically, uh, regulators, government, uh, and even professional societies have you know, typically, uh, typically recommended relatively higher levels. So what is it going to take and what is it we need to do to get to what may be a more desirable protein intake in, uh, in these infants? Uh, a regulator will never allow lower limits unless safety has to be established and it's the uh, job of the companies which are bringing such lower protein formulas to the market mm -hmm. to establish uh, safety in randomized clinical trials where uh, comparison with another group of formula fed infants is made and with breastfed infants. And if the infants are growing adequately and the metabolic outcome is close to breastfed infants, these infants should be safe. There are criteria uh, which are established by international organizations. And once those criteria are met, the formula should go to the market. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.